Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a haul video, I guess. Um, and also, just wanted to share what I've been up to. I haven't been crafting. I've been sick. I just filmed a pennant share, and it's horrible. Like, I'm so out of it. But um, I did want to film these uh, these hauls because I'm going to put start using everything and putting it away. Um, I found a cool supply store. I needed these ATT, ATC sleeves. When you're in um, a swap or do a trade with an ATC, you ha you're supposed to, it's, it's called for quite a bit that you, you have to send it in these sleeves. And I didn't have any. Um, I'm storing mine in those like uh, baseball collector, um, you know, pages that you have. Okay, cool. So that fits right in there. And even if it was a little dimensional, it, it would still fit. But I needed these, so I ordered, I guess there's a hundred in here. Yeah, a hundred. And the, the store is called Your ATC Store. Here it is. Your ATC Store. And it's Lisa Dawson. And um, the shipping was awesome. Um, I guess she has a blog and everything, too. So she shows cards and lots of examples. I thought it was great. So um, the prices were really good as well. Really, really good. Um, so I ordered these little tiny wings, which were very cool, um, because I was doing, I'm doing art dolls, and when you do ATCs, look how small these are. These are so cute. These are like, um, applique almost. They're not quite. They're more of a, I don't even know what that would be considered. Boy, they're sweet. Those are sweet little wings. So there's a couple pink. Is there a couple pink? I got one pink in there by accident, I think. That's super cute. And there's white. Um, I got them. I got this. This is by um, Crafty Secrets. And I have admired their paper line for a long time. I love the graphics of Crafty, Crafty Secrets. Um, I don't have it locally here at all, anywhere to put my hands on it. Um, so she just had a couple pieces. And I thought, well, I'll get that. These are just little cut-aparts. I thought they were a nice size for an ATC as well. So, I mean, that's a little big, but, like, you could cut off the tip of the moon. I really, really like that. Um, there were some really cute, um, let me see. This was just so cheap, too. I mean, it was not a lot. Crafty Seeds, I think this was $4. That was $3.50. dollars 3 for two, uh, for two pieces like that. And they're back-to-back. -back. I mean, they're, um, double-sided. But I probably will only use the, the one side. This one has wings. I love the cupcake, like you could put the bait, the kids sitting on the cupcake or whatever. They're just really super cute. All right, anyway. Um, so I got that. That's what I got from, it's your ATC store. Your ATC store. Very good, very good shipping. Great prices. And they also have kits. So for anyone who is new to AC, ATCs and doesn't even have supplies, like you don't even know where to start. Look at this. I also got these. I was at the, I don't even remember the name of this store. See, I'm so out of it, you guys. I'm so sorry. Bottles and, I don't remember. Bottles and something. Because um, I've, I've wanted these tins for a long time, and I have, um, I've seen some inspirational videos lately. This is more of the, this is kind of like the, uh, let me see, I have one right here. An Altoid tin. It's Actually, it seems like it's, yep, yeah, pretty much very, it's an Altoid tin, basically. So, that, but this one is the one that I wanted to try because, oh, I can't think of her name right now. I'm so sorry. I'm going to, I'll figure everything out and uh, I'll do a share with these later. But I got five of these, this style, and five of the other style. But you make, like, um, shadow boxes. Like, you can put a picture behind here and dress it up and, and stuff. Anyway, but I just had all these in there. This is her, her kits. And most of these were a dollar. I'm telling you, like, not a lot of these were above a dollar. And plus, she sends you a free one. She sends you that month's kit for free. So May's kit was free. I got this Mermaid Beauty one, and there's just all matching papers and bling. Look, there's little tiny shells. There's a charm in each one. This one has a fish charm, a cute little image, matching paper. This one is this month's, this one's like coffee time or something. Look at that. There's coffee paper. There's a little piece of trim. There's a, a lady drinking coffee. There's a coffee pot. Um, this is August. Look at this. She put flower soft salt in there. I mean, it's for the beach, like to make sand. There's a palm tree. There's a beach ball. 
retro beauty and a little like sandcastle charm. I mean, it's super cute, these things. So I just wanted to share because if you're, if you, like I said, especially if you're a beginner to this stuff, you have everything for a dollar, you can make an ATC and, it, and, and be proud of it. These are probably collaged or whatever. Look at this. This is an Easter, an April one. There's a bunny, there are sequins and um, brads and ribbon. And I mean, so you don't have to have any supplies. I just couldn't resist this one. Look, it's Little Red Riding Hood. Super cute. Look, there's a Little Red Riding Hood charm in here. What was the other one? I got a big old, oh, here it is, St. Patty's Day. Look at that. And this is the large St. Patty's Day kit, so I, I bet I could make like a couple, like at least maybe three of them in there. And she even sends the little, like, um, the, sl the sleeves. There was just sleeves there. All right, now I'm going over, but I'll, I'll do an additional video. But look at all the stuff you get. All right, so this one, the St. Patty's Day one was probably a tiny bit more. Like it wasn't a dollar, but it wasn't like five dollars even. Oh, where is it? I don't know. I thought I had the little, um, my receipt for that. But let's see. Yep, you get sleeves. I mean, how crazy is that? She sends you sleeves. I guess this is considered the card. Two, there's two of those. There's like one, two, five pieces of pattern paper. An image. Two different, like, trim paper. Two images. So it's enough for two cards, probably. Look at this. Oh, my God. That's adorable little trim. But look, there's little leprechaun um, sequins. Oh, my gosh. So cute. So anyway, I just think it's a great value for you to be able to play and create an ATC card. Like, you have everything you need right there. So um, I wanted to share those. And I, of course, went, I got, like, ten of them. I don't know. Um, but I'll make those. I'll make them this weekend because I, I have been sick. Oh, look at this one. So fun. So obviously there are some trims in there. It's got scissors as the, there's buttons and a little one of those sewing pins. An image. And look, an eyelet paper. See how cute? She does a good job. She really like puts together a nice kit. So um, I just wanted to show that. So that's your ATC store, it's called. So I'm going to move that aside. Um... I have been, I think I've been a member, I haven't actually been a member, I registered finally. Um, it's a website called Artful Gatherings. I'm going to try and push this aside because I have some things I want to show you. I'm going to take, it's an online retreat is what it is considered, okay? Um, for years and years and years when I painted, I went to convention and I'm just going to pull this forward. This was a class that I actually took at my local um, chapter of painting um, by an artist. Oh my God, her name is totally just, I have, oh my gosh, I actually have a signed piece. I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go away and come back. So th this is um, a signed piece by Sonia Richardson. Now this is just what she was using in class to demo on. And it's like one of those like wooden um, placemats, right? So it's just raw wood on the back. Um, and we were doing a, a big bowl. Anyway, long story short, I have taken lots and lots and lots of classes. And I'm used to having a teacher sitting down and going through the process with me when I do a project. That's what I did for years. That's um, learning the techniques of how to paint. Um, that's what we did. Decorative painting. That was, I've been to lots of conventions and, you know, and now with YouTube, um, I think it's changed to where there are so many mixed media stuff and mediums and everyone, you know, everyone's able to get out there and show what they can do. Um, that they've, it's kind of gotten much broader. Now, I think Artful Gatherings, from what I understand, is it's an online retreat. I'm going to just, you'd have to go online. To, it's called Artful Gatherings, and it's Dreaming in Color 2014. It's an online workshop retreat, okay? But it's not just one thing. It's mixed media. It's, um, beads, it's metalworking, it's, um, it's just everything you've ever, it's sculpting, and like, um, 
I don't know. Like, there's everything under the sun. All I did was I kind of just looked through the catalog, and when something caught my eye, I thought, hmm. Now, it's not cheap. It's $5. I registered, and I will be taking one of the summer classes. There's two sessions. There's a, a, a session one and a session two. Mine's session two. It starts in July. But before I ended up ordering this DVD set. Now, this is by the artist named Mary Jane Chadbourne. And she lives in Vegas, I think, right now. She's from New York. She's um, from the East Coast originally, I think. And there she is. She's on the back of the DVD. Um, and I'll tell you what. She is very thorough and goes over every inch of this project that you will, you can't go wrong. And this is called The House of Cards. And what I liked about it is, because I'm working on ATCs lately, this is a little box that's going to hold my ATCs, and I got it today, so I'm going to show you so I can get started. I've watched the whole DVD, and now I need to um, start prepping my piece, and I've um, also been um, getting digital downloads as well, because that's what she does. She decoupages, um, and there's little house pieces. I have a door. I have some windows, so I'm going to show you. But anyway, this, is a, this was $70, and I think that's crazy. I think that's ridiculous. I really do. Um, I did it. I got it. Um, I'll have it forever. I mean, I can, it can, I can put it away and pull it out in 10 years and still have it, you know, but I do think that's a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's really something, but you know, when you go to convention, I'm definitely spent, I mean, I would spend 30 bucks for a class at convention, not 70, um, because then you still have to buy the piece, which here's the piece. This is the house, and this actually was much smaller than it looked when she had it. And this comes with a, a lid. Hers did not come with a lid when she first did the class. I think this actually was part of a class, or no, it was in a joint or a, a thing she did to, she did a card class. It was uh, 52 cards or something like that. I forget what it's called. And I'm probably going to get that friggin' DVD, which I don't know. I mean, I really, really kind of do want to because I love what it's about. Anyway, it's she takes a deck of cards and she does techniques on 52 cards. That's what I'm thinking it is. And look, see how they fit right in there? So this is to hold your ATC cards because a deck of cards is two and a half by three and a half standard deck of cards. My throat's starting to hurt. I feel like crap, you guys. I'm so I don't like feel. I'm a big wuss anyway. <laughs> but this one comes with a lid, um, and it has a little um, chimney for the ha for the roof. If you want to put a chimney on there, it has little feet, so it's dimensional. Super cute, well made. This was 30 something bucks for this house. I mean, it's made of like, I don't know, some type of really cool wood and stuff. I mean, it's gonna be worth it. And I've done this for years. I've I've done this. I've put the money out. I've gone to classes. You buy the supplies they have, because of course you want it to be like theirs. So I'm really excited to get started on this. So I had to buy, um, I got a few other things that I want to share. This is from a company called um so that's Artful Gatherings. Please go check it out. The It's right now, May 1st started when you could start buying your classes and getting prepared. I think the session one starts soon, I think. I forget when session one starts. I have it written down somewhere. Um, let me see if I wrote it here. Um, I'm starting in se session two starts July 16th. So this is what I'm taking in session two. I don't know if you can see this. These are art dolls, and oh my god, I am so excited, you guys. These are so cute. Like, when you go on the website and you see these, you will fall in love. And look, this is like, I don't know if it has the price here. See, 70 bucks. And, and I don't even get a DVD now. Now I just get like six weeks of watching it. So I'm not sure about that. I'd rather have the DVD. Um, let's see. A DVD option to purchase, yes. So I don't know what that means. Um, the standing doll kit, I already bought a three set. I'm so excited. Um, and I will show you these when they're done. She also sends you a supply list of just where you can get everything you, you would need for the class. So I have to still look through that. And um, anyway, but what 
what um, Retro Cafe is the name of the website that she found these little um, what are they windows and different little um, things that I'm going to use for my house and look how cool and this these are made so well so I'm not disappointed at all in that now here's her little card Mary Jane's card see there's an art doll oh my god is that adorable that's the one that says the, uh, the, Im the Imaginarium Anthology of an Art Doll. That's the name of the class. So I'm so excited. I think it's so, so, so cool. So anyway, um, here's the door for my house. I'm just going to take that off. And you can kind of see, so the door goes there. And then these are the little windows. So I think I might put one of these on the door. I don't know. She had her door with like collage with clouds on it. Um, but these little windows are the size of an inchy, this one. So you put one of those little inchies with a face looking through the window with eyes. Like, it's super cute, you guys. Um, so Retro Cafe, oh look, so here's, look at this doorknob. Is this not too cute? These were from Retro Cafe, too. These little bees, um, I'm thinking I might hold out on one of these at least because one of those dolls has like a bee theme. There's a printout for like bee something and there's a bee scap and everything. So I might use one of these bees. But look at this little tiny doorknob. And there's a key in there I don't want to lose. Look at this. This is the tiniest little door knob. Look, it has a keyhole. Oh my god. I don't know if my camera is focusing. That is super cute. All right. Anywho, I'm very excited about this. This is what I've been doing. That's what I got for my birthday, basically. I was just like, I'm doing... And then, so I've already paid for two classes. So that's like 140 bucks. Bought this. So that's... I'm up to 200 bucks. Then, and I ordered the dolls. So that's like another form, like 250 already. You know, it's just crazy. So I don't know if that's something that everyone's going to be able to do or anything or... If you'd even want to. I love classes, though. I've done the Tim Holtz Compendium 2, I think I did, because I missed one. And I've done, like, Thinking Inking with um, some of the girls from Simon Says Stamp. Some of the, you know, the really good there. Like, just, I've, I love classes. I think they're amazing. And that's why I love YouTube, because you guys share your techniques. I'm going to go away and come back. Um, all right, so that was Retro Cafe. I got to put this back in here. But yeah, I mean, it's just disappointing because it's so expensive. $70? Seriously? For a DV I guess that's because that's what the class cost. But why does the class cost that much? It doesn't have to cost $70. Like, I don't get it. Maybe they just really pay their, their teachers a lot. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is sore. Um... I don't even know if I said it. Like, I got a fever on Saturday night. I was in bed all day Sunday with a fever. Hot and cold, hot and cold. It was horrible. So I'm such a wussy. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to feel better. But I just, I don't feel better yet. Um, and so I did. I just went and got a few things that, one of the ways that she, like, gets the dark edge around her, um, her uh, collaged pieces is she used a charcoal pencil. So this is something new for me. I'm sorry, a graphite pencil. Is it graphite? Graphic. I think it's called, I think it's a charcoal pencil. I'm sorry. And then you take these little nub things, these blending nubs, and you blend around the item. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, she uses a Sharpie, these big fat Sharpies, which I'd never had. And that's what she uses to either like maybe go around the edge of the house and the door to make them like stand out. Just make sure everything's nice and, um, you know, I don't know, blendy. What else? This was just something cool I saw. Hobby and craft. There was like this one aisle in Michael's that I just like hadn't really moseyed down, I guess, in a while. And I found this. This is super cool. Look at this. It was a double cool thing because I have been looking for more of these S hooks because I like to hang stuff off of my um, my racks here. I'll show you. I, I think I might have shown it. I'm just going to move my camera. But up here... See, look, I have my matchboxes up there. I mean, I just like to kind of hang stuff randomly. I don't know what else I have. Do I have stuff hanging randomly? I know. Sometimes I use those um, binding clips, too. But, like, yeah, like, this is a binding clip. 
but then I'll just hang tags or whatever. So, but these S hooks are really cool. And what I liked was what they came in. I wanted to kind of see this thing. Oh, look at that. It came apart. But you could glue, look, see, there's like a piece of plastic in the top. And then there's the S hooks, which I'll use. But this, this little tin, because it's very similar to what I just purchased. I mean, it doesn't have a hinge, but it's still super cute. Like, you could even put a hinge on it and make it into like a little mini um, shadow box or something. I don't know. I don't know how you would do it. Just cool. I just like that. You can alter that. Um, and then what else did I get? That's about it, really. I got some, I just got this stencil, and it was covered in crap. I was like, the packaging was so messed up, so I just took it out of the packaging. But it just has some cool words on it. I think I'll use those when I do my mixed media. Because this is covered with, like, mod, I mean, it's covered with um, collaging, then color, then some mixed media stamping. Like, there's so much going on on here. So, it's just, it's going to be so fun. Like, I'm so excited. And I will definitely share when I finish. So, that's it, you guys. Go check out. I'm going to put this in the description box. Um, I'll put Artful Gatherings, Retro Cafe, and um, definitely ATC, your ATC store. Because her prices are super. And I just think these kits are so cute for, like, a beginner ATC card maker you can't go wrong like you're just gonna you can sit down and boom you have an ATC card and like you know feel successful and um so that's it all right you guys thanks for watching